So number one then, from the 2016 Advanced Higher Maths, there we go, a three part differentiation question to start with, eight marks, and it comes with answers, hey, right, what's the first one, three marks for this, well, y equals, so dy by dx equals, but then you think, there's three marks for this, well, there'll be a mark for knowing to use and using the product rule, so differentiate the first factor, and then leave this one alone. Now leave that one alone and differentiate this. Can't remember in this time? Look at the front. So that'll be 1 over 1 plus whatever it's operating on, squared, multiplied, of course, by the derivative of the inner function. That's it done. There's nothing else you can do, apart from tidy it up, which isn't really a tidying up. I'm just not showing 1 times it. And I'm putting them back together on top. There we go. Ah. Done. Divide by dx. And so part b, this time it's given as a function. Find f dash dx, simplifying your answer. Again for three marks. But this will be a longer three marks to find f dashed of x. Well, that will be using and, or rather, knowing to use and using the quotient rule. So the pattern is square the denominator, and then it would be same as the product rule. Differentiate that first function, so that would just be negative 2x. Leave the other one alone. And then leave the first one alone. Oh, almost fell into that wee trap there. Leave the first one alone. And of course, when you differentiate that second one, it was really underneath the power negative one. So that's why it's a subtract. Differentiate the second one. Well, that'll just become a 8x. Now it said simplify. Normally you'd be tempted into thinking things like, I think I'll take out the common factors on the top. Now there's a common factor of x. There's a common factor of 2. There's a common factor of negative negative 1, you could take out negative 2x, but there's only the four terms, so I think I'll just multiply them out. Less sophisticated, but it might be more effective in this case. A negative 2x minus 8x cubed minus 8x and then plus 8x cubed, there you go, all over 1 plus 4x squared all squared. The hardest thing so far in this question has been drawing these lines. They cancel out. That comes to negative 10. That must be the simplifying they're talking about. So it comes to negative 10x, however you want to write it. Whether you're going to write 10x over. It's a bit excessive there for that line. Take a bit off. Whether you're going to write negative 10 on top or negative 10 at the front. Anybody put it at the front. And to complete the little differentiation packet for question one, a curve is given by these parametric equations. Find dy by dx. Well, since they're expressed in terms of t, the first thing you can find can be dx by dt, which is six, and dy by dt, which would be positive sine t. And then you would say, right, if you want dy by dx, then you'll be using dy by dt times dt by dx. So dy by dt is sine t. And then that would be multiplied by, oh, I've done it now, 1 upon 6, because it's dt by dx. And I'll just have to write that again. As 1 sixth of sine t. Well, that was okay for a starter. 